In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform transient calculations using SafeGrid Earthing software. SafeGrid Earthing software can perform calculations in the time domain such as for lightning currents, by considering that a transient waveform is composed of many different frequency components, and uses forward Fourier transforms to decompose the waveform. The response of the earthing system to the individual frequencies of the lightning current is then calculated in the frequency domain. The resulting time domain response of the earthing system is obtained by applying the inverse Fourier transform to all of these responses. Let's start off under design settings to set up the transient calculation. Under the grid energization section, select transient. You will notice the fault current module, which is for analyzing power system faults is disabled. Under the soil characteristics section enter the multilayer soil resistivity model explicitly. Select the frequency dependency method. The transient can be set as a current or a voltage waveform. Set it as a current waveform. There are five different waveform types that can be selected which I will explain briefly as follows. The IEC 62305 function is based on the standard that provides defined models of lightning currents. There are three waveform types with different time constants and peak current values determined by the lightning protection level. With the SEGA function, a peak current is defined, along with a frontal time, a decay time, and steepness. The Hedler function is set similarly to the SEGA function. Note that the decay time for a Hedler function must be greater than 1.135 times the decay time. The double exponential function only has peak current, frontal time, and decay time inputs. For a custom waveform, you can upload a spreadsheet of two columns, one column for the current and another for the time in microseconds. Or you can upload a spreadsheet with just one column for the current, and define the sampling interval. In this tutorial, we will use an IEC function, first positive impulse, with lightning protection level 2. The conductor type section remains the same, and the decrement factor is disabled since it is not applicable for transient waveforms. Next, let's set up the earthing system using the build grid module. In the build grid module you can model earthing grids of any size or shape using the inbuilt grid drawing tools, or imported from drafting software. Note that calculation time depends on the complexity of the grid, especially for transient calculations. In this tutorial we will import a simple 10 meter square grid with 1 meter rods at each corner. The response to a lightning strike applied to the faulted segment will be calculated. Press Import CAD and select the ASCII DXF file to import. Set the drawing units with drop down options or use the units that have been set in the drawing file. Import entities from all layers or the layers selected. Hold Ctrl key to select multiple layers. Import the grid in 3D by selecting Import 3D drawing units with Z coordinates or in 2D by selecting specify fixed depth. Press import to load the grid file. Note the faulted segment location, which can be changed. Next in the safety criteria module, we will add the voltage profiles. Voltage profiles specify the locations where the actual surface and touch voltages will be calculated. With the voltage profile selected press fit to grid to cover the grid area. Change the maximum spacing between points to be 1 meter which is a reasonable spacing for the size of the grid. Add a line profile by pressing add profile and select line profile. With the line profile selected press fit to grid. Note for transient calculations it is recommended to use line profiles rather than rectangular profiles to minimize the number of voltage points and hence reduce calculation time. Next, go to the Grid Points tab and add 4 grid points and move each grid point to a corner of the grid using the mouse. Grid points measure voltages and currents on the conductors. Note that any number of grid points can be added, and that their locations will automatically be snapped to the grid conductors during the calculations. Set the Calculate mode to Voltage and Current for each of the grid points. The display results module performs the transient calculations and displays the results in several plots for analysis. Click calculate and the progress of the transient calculations are displayed in a pop-up window. During the calculations, a wide range of frequencies are automatically selected and their responses are calculated. Once these are complete press a close window in the pop-up window and the inverse Fourier transform, 
which is the final stage of the calculation, will be performed before the plots are displayed. At the top of the display results window, the maximum grid impedance and maximum grid potential rise, GPR, is displayed. Click pop-out to open the input waveform preview which is helpful when analyzing the other plots. Click on the faulted segment tab which displays the faulted segment voltage and faulted segment impedance plots. Go to the surface plot and the touch plot tabs. The animated plots show the voltages versus time during the transient. There are video control buttons and you can drag the time progress bar forward and backward using the mouse to view the voltage response at different times. You can export the plots as a video file. Click on the grid points tab. The grid point plots show voltage and current response versus time for each of the grid points which are selectable from the drop down. All of the transient calculation data can be exported as spreadsheet files. Finally a report can be generated by clicking on the report button. The report options can be customized. The report can be generated as either a PDF or a Word document, and a custom company logo and custom fields can be added if desired. To add your logo or custom fields press the Open Settings button. Once you click the Generate button, the transient report will be created by the software, and you will be able to save it to your computer. The transient report includes the user inputs and calculated results. Note again that the animated plots can be exported as a video file. Thank you for watching. Please contact us if you have any questions.